Hello and welcome into this week's edition of The Pole Position right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below and hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On today's edition of The Pole Position, we're looking back at this weekend's five races from the series that we cover. On the NASCAR side of things, Xfinity and Cup were both in action from the Darlington Raceway. The ARCA Racing Series was in action on Monday at the DuCoin State Fairgrounds dirt track. Uh, IndyCar was in action for the Grand Prix of Portland, and Formula One was in Italy. So let's get right into things. We'll start off with the NASCAR side of things. The Xfinity Series kicked off the weekend on Saturday. They kicked off throwback weekend for NASCAR. A lot of cool paint schemes in both the Xfinity's in the Xfinity race and in the Cup race. Brad Keselowski came out victorious in the Xfinity race after Ross Chastain and Kevin Harvick uh, got a little entangled late in the race after Ross Chastain had led most of the race in his first start in the 42 car for Chip Ganassi Racing, but Brad Keselowski was the guy that came out victorious after all of that. Cole Custer came home in the second position, Tyler Reddick third, Denny Hamlin and Elliott Sadler were the rest of your top five. Rounding out the top ten were Chase Elliott, Justin Allgaier, Matt Tift, Ty Dillon, and Michael Annette. All right, so let's get into Saturday's race, the Bojangles Southern 500 from the Darlington Raceway for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Brad Keselowski comes out on top again. He had not won a race at Darlington before this weekend, and he sweeps the weekend at this historic track. Joey Logano comes home in second with a 1-2 finish for Team Penske. This was the first time Team Penske had won at Darlington since 1975, so a big weekend for them definitely from the egg-shaped oval. Kyle Larson came home in the third position after winning both stages. Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott rounded out the top five. Rest of your top ten were Kurt Busch in sixth, Kyle Busch in seventh, Eric Jones, Jamie McMurray, and Denny Hamlin. All right, so we will end off our stock car portion of the weekend with Monday's ARCA Racing Series event. They were on dirt this weekend, their second dirt race of the season. From the dirt track at the DuCoin State Fairgrounds in DuCoin, Illinois, the General Tire Grabber 100. And it was one of the dirt track aces that came in and won the race. Logan Seavey, driving the 20 car for Venturini Motorsports this week, picks up the victory. He's had a lot of success in the dirt ranks in the USAC world. Uh, comes in and shows these ARCA guys how to race on dirt. Logan Seavey picks up the victory. Will Kimmel came home with a very impressive second place finish. Riley Herbst was third, Christian Eck is fourth, and Zane Smith rounded out the top five. Zane Smith had a very up and down day as well. We go more into detail on that in the ARCA Rewind show. Ryan Unzicker, Kelly Kovsky, Chase Purdy, Joe Cooksey, and Sheldon Creed rounded out the top ten. Now, if you want to see more in-depth recaps of any of these stock car races, any of the, the Xfinity race, the Cup race, or the ARCA race, we did individual rewind shows for each of those that are already up on the channel. They are linked down below in the description. Uh, we do those every week for all the NASCAR and ARCA races where we go much more in-depth. Uh, race highlights, results, uh, post-race media center interviews for the... NASCAR stuff, and we always have an exclusive winner interview with the winner of the ARCA race, and this week is no different. We do have an exclusive interview with Logan Seavey, and then we get into the point standings after the race as well. So much more in-depth than what we go into on here on the pole position. This is just to quickly catch you up on what happened throughout the entire weekend, but if you want to see what happened more in-depth, you got to go back and check out that Rewind show, which, like I said, each of those is linked down below in the description. All right, let's get into the open wheel stuff for the weekend. The penultimate race for the Verizon IndyCar Series in the 2018 season, the Grand Prix of Portland from the Portland International Raceway. Takuma Sato picks up the victory after leading 25 of the 105 laps in this event. Ryan Hunter Ray came home in the second position, Sebastian Bourdais third, Spencer Piggott in the fourth position, 
and Scott Dixon rounded out the top five. The rest of your top ten were Simon Pagino, Charlie Kimball, Alexander Rossi, Pietro Fittipaldi, and Joseph Newgarden. All right, and your final race of the weekend in terms of the series that we cover was the Gran Premio Heineken d'Italia. Or, in English, that would be the Italian Grand Prix, the Heineken Italian Grand Prix. Sorry, I tried the Italian. Probably didn't work out too well. Lewis Hamilton comes home with the victory in this race. Uh, yet another victory for him on the 2018 season. Kimi Raikkonen comes home in the second position, his 100th podium finish in Formula One. Valtteri Bottas rounded out the podium in third. Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen both picking up top five finishes as well. Romain Grosjean technically crossed the line in sixth, but was disqualified after a technical rule infringement uh, with the floor of his car. So he received no points for this race, and, and as far as officially things are concerned, did not finish sixth in this race. Esteban Ocon officially finished in sixth. Sergio Perez, Carlos Sainz, Lance Stroll, and Sergei Sorotkin rounded out the top ten, all of them receiving points in this race. All right, so that uh, will do it for us tonight on the pole position. Like I said, if you want to see more in-depth recaps of the NASCAR races or the ARCA race, you need to go down below in the description, and there are links to each of those individual rewind shows to catch you up uh, more in-depth on what happened in those races. If you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, though, and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. We were at the track live in DuCoin this weekend for the ARCA race. I uh, got to chat with a lot of the drivers, as we usually do. Got to do some great live coverage from there, as we have been doing for most of the ARCA season and will be doing for the remainder of the ARCA season. We will be live from Lucas Oil Raceway Friday night uh, for the ARCA event there, uh, as we will be for Salem next weekend and Kansas in October. So all three of the remaining ARCA races, we will be at each of those. So, if you haven't hit that subscribe button and rung the bell already, uh, you need to so you don't miss any of that going forward. And of course, we'll have rewind shows and pole position every weekend as well to keep you caught up on everything. And if you like this video, hit that big thumbs up button down below. It is much appreciated when you do. So with that, this has been the pole position where you always start on the front row. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.